Welcome back to Gem Mint Collectibles. I'm Gem Mint. Today we're going to take an advanced look at two omnibus from Marvel Comics and we're going to kick it off with volume three of the Thunderbolts. All right, before we take a look at volume three, I figured we'd take a look at volumes one and two with it. So here we can see all the dust jackets. Here's how they look lined up next to each other. So Thunderbolts, Busick, Bagley, Zercher. Here we have from this side, you have some images of the teams on the bottom and then the back of all three dust jackets love the unity love how everything matches and goes together volume three comes out on may 2nd it has 1216 pages and this is the regular cover the direct market variant is by the same artist tom grumet the book retails 125 dollars and it continues where volume two leaves off with thunderbolts 64 through 75 and 100 through 109. It does have the six issue miniseries Avengers slash Thunderbolts, New Thunderbolts 1 through 18, and Thunderbolts presents Zemo, Born Better 1 through 4. The inside of the dust jacket, Worlds Apart, talking about this arc. Basically, this deals with Counter Earth. It's an Earth that's orbiting the opposite side of the sun. And then we have a biography on the creators, Fabian Nicesia, Kurt Busick, and Tom Grumet. And then we have a wraparound cover here like we do on most of the modern Marvel omnibus. All right, let's jump into it. So we have the yellow interior pages, nice cover page here. Then we have the credits and table of contents and then jumps right into Thunderbolt 64. We've got some Baron Zemo action here. This is an omnibus series that I really want to dive into, preferably before they come out with the movie. Uh, haven't read this material yet. It has that late 90s, early 2000s art style. I like the paneling, I like the layouts, the art looks good, uh, just not really familiar with most of the team, of course Hawkeye, Baron Zemo, and things of that nature, so I'm uh, really looking forward to jumping into Thunderbolts. I actually should start the read through of Volume 1 pretty soon, but uh, I like the premise here, kind of like a multiverse type of thing, counter earth, parallel worlds type of vibe, got some familiar faces in here, Namor, looks like Goliath, Captain Universe. We got virgin covers before each issue. All right, so it looks like we have some bonus material here, connecting covers. We've got some second printing variants, Mark Bagley artwork, Civil War files. And that's pretty much it. What it lacks in bonus material, I think it more than makes up for it with the amount of content it provides. Definitely got to start my read through for Thunderbolts, especially before this movie comes out. Now, the second omnibus that we got in for Marvel is a continuation of Daredevil. We had volume one. Here is volume two, continuing the original Daredevil run. All right, Daredevil volume two is coming. This is what it looks like next to volume one, which is a much thicker book. I like how they both have the old school covers for the dust jackets. Unfortunately, you know, all the Silver Age stuff, I think even with Bronze Age, Marvel is doing the smaller uh, trade dress. The first one had the larger font. So it doesn't really look that good next to each other on the shelf unless they do a reprint of Daredevil Volume 1 and the reprint would match up. Here goes the back of the book. Looks the same. We have all the comics. And again, this is what I just love about Omnibus. Volume 1, collecting Daredevil 1 through 41. Volume 2, picking up right where that leaves off, giving us almost 75 issues of Daredevil here. Now, volume two also includes the Invincible Iron Man 35 and some material from issue 36. $100 cover price here. And this is the regular cover. It's the cover for issue 53. The DM variant is just the cover for issue 57, the unmasked Daredevil. Still pretty cool. 800 pages, and this one comes out on May 23rd. Here's the inside of the dust jacket talking about Daredevil coming out of the Silver Age into the Bronze Age. Quick biographies on Stan Lee, Roy Thomas, Jerry Conway, Gene Colan, and Barry Windsor Smith. And see, that's why I say with modern Marvel Omnis, they do the wraparound covers, and usually with these older books, they just kind of go all black with it, very similar to the dust jacket, Daredevil logo on the back. And even the table of contents and everything feels like the old school Marvel Omnibus from this splash page talking about what it collects. We have the artists and creator credits and then the table of contents very textbook like uh, and then we have a forward by gene colon now it's kind of funny that they go textbook with the interiors but the spine the thing that you kind of see the most on this book is what changed 
Now, when you think, you know, old school Daredevil, you think Silver Age, right? But look how big these panels are as it's growing into the Bronze Age style. Daredevil bouncing around everywhere. You have the fan letters, which is super cool to see. People writing in from the 70s, uh, talking to Stan Lee. You get the regular cover before each page. Big splash page, big bright colors. Awesome splash page here with Daredevil and Black Panther. This one kind of came out of nowhere because Daredevil Volume 1, that came out before I even started the channel. So like over five years ago. And then boom, out of nowhere, they dropped Volume 2, continuing the series. I think this is an essential, man. It's kind of like blue chip Marvel characters and storylines getting the entire run collected in oversized format. Super cool. Let's see what else it contains here. All right, so on the back, you have uh, the cover for Daredevil Annual 2 by Sal Buscema. You have some house ads here, which are always fun. Then we have oh, unused cover pencil art by Gene Colan. That's cool. Got original art for the interiors here with inks. Some more sketch covers. Some more original art. And that wraps it up. That Spider-Man booth is currently in open enrollment for their March subscription box. Not only do you get over $100 in retail value, but also variants that are exclusive to this box. In March, there's an 8 Billion Genies Issue 8 exclusive cover by Alex Cormack, Virgins limited to 500 copies, as well as a Ninja Funk 3 exclusive by Ivan Tao. 300 regular editions were printed, 100 foil, and 25 metal. Head on over to ThatSpiderManBooth.com and sign up for their subscription box today. So there we go. We got to take a look at the Thunderbolts Volume 3 and Daredevil Volume 2. Are these essential omnis for your collection? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.